Hey guys, and welcome back to How to Make Elements from Household Materials. Today's element is going to be carbon. Now, carbon is commonly found in carbon zinc batteries. You can see it says carbon zinc right there. So you're going to want to find a battery that says this. If it says heavy duty or alkaline or anything, those are not carbon zinc batteries. Make sure it says carbon zinc on the casing. Now, this is an old dead battery, but you could use a brand new one. Either way, they'll work. So, um... It's really simple to get the uh, carbon out of these. There's a carbon rod running right through the center of this. And it's about the perfect size for an element sample. This is why I'm using this. Other batteries that you could use are lantern batteries um, or any other type of battery that says car carbon zinc. Some 9 volt batteries also contain uh, carbon zinc batteries in them. So anyhow, with this, we're basically just going to peel off the casing. So I'll be back once I peeled off the casing. Okay, so once the case has been pried off, we're left with this casing here. Now, um, there's zinc metal right here, there's carbon here, the inside underneath this cap is an element called manganese, or not an element, sorry, a compound called manganese dioxide. Now, we're going to save the manganese dioxide because in a separate video we're going to be uh, using manganese dioxide to extract manganese metal. So, basically, to get this carbon rod out, we're going to pop off the cap and carefully ply, pry it up with a pair of pliers. If this doesn't work, um, and you have an old dead battery or something, and it's really corroded or something, um, then you actually have to scrape off all of your manganese dioxide, which will be stuck to the electrode. But I'm just going to try to pull this out. I'll tell you what I do um, once I'm done. So uh, I'll be back with the carbon electrode. Just give me a moment. Okay, so here's a rod of carbon that I got out. So this is 100% pure carbon, and is exactly what I use in my arc furnace. Anyhow, so this is a great way to get carbon rods for your element collection, and they're just the right size to fit in an element sample container. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this short video, and uh, hopefully you can get your own sample of carbon. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.